Hi, my name is Stan. This is Atom Soul Stardust. I hope you're doing well. So, you want to write your first screenplay? Where do you start? How do you do it? Any tips and tricks? Let's talk about it. For those of you who can just sit down and just write, write, write till your fingers hurt, uh, I guess this video is not for you really. For those of you who dread looking at the blank page and are sort of utterly lost at the first stages of the process and can't really figure it out, I think I've got a few tips for you. Um, I actually wish I knew myself when I started uh, writing my first screenplay. I would recommend um, to actually do some preparation beforehand, before you actually um, open your screenwriting program of choice and actually start putting words on the page. Lay down the foundation which you can always sort of come back to, um, sort of to refresh your memory and not get lost in the weeds of the process. Like the best trick I've learned so far is to actually treat your screenplay, not written screenplay yet, um, as like a finished movie already. So you want to come up with like a logline or a quick summary, something you can find like um, on IMDb page of the movies. And this will actually help you a lot, I've learned myself. This is not only sort of a good idea for you to get a better overlook sort of on your, on your own story and kind of to figure it out better because when you need to summarize everything in just a few words in like two sentences or even maybe like one sentence, you need to really understand what your story is about. And this is really crucial and really important, right? But also, so it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you when you yourself sort of get stuck in, in the weeds of the process, like I'm saying, uh, and you kind of, maybe you overwrite something, maybe you add something uh, unnecessary and you're just like stuck maybe, can't progress through like the, the second act or something like that. And then you always can sort of come back, look at your logline, look at the, the name of your movie, right? Um, which is also sort of a good thing to have, or at least like a few ideas, right? And then look at what's written there, was sort of the gist of the story, what's the essence of the story. And then you're like, oh, okay, okay, so I didn't need that, what, what I just written, because the story is not about that. And I kind of just lost track of it a little bit. This is really helpful, and I wish I would knew this, and I wish I would always start like that. I've written two screenplays, and I'm like in the process of rewriting uh, all of it, but it would be way easier if I just had this like a short summary, which would tell me, okay, so this is the story. Next, create names for your characters for your main characters anyway. And not only just put some random names, right? Sort of think about what the name symbolizes, right? What uh, what it translates to or from, like in other languages or whatever, right? Or the roots of the name or of the surname, right? What do, what do they mean, right? And find something meaningful, right? That connects to the story, and, like links to the story somehow, right? For example, do you think always manipulating and, and lying Frank Underwood in House of Cards named like that just by random chance? No, of course not. Obviously, writers thought about it like Frank for a person who's lying all the time, right? Underwood, sort of these branches, trees, wherever that, that grow next to the ground level. And then obviously that's who he is, sort of lurking in, in the shadows in the background. He wants to rise up. Like, like think about it. Like, obviously they, they thought about all of that. And that's, that's the name, right? Think about that in your story as well. I mean, it's, it's not necessary for, for every story, right? But it's good for you at least to have that in mind because it makes characters almost like real people. Even if they're living in your head, it makes them way more real because you understand sort of who they are, where they come from, right? Then the actual writing, sort of the dreaded blank page. And this is where I've learned sort of the best little trick um, in the past like six months or so. Don't focus right now at writing sort of the perfect dialogue, the perfect line, the perfect scene, whatever, and sort of just focus on writing. Rewriting is gonna be a big part of the process and it's actually way more fun part of the process. And I didn't figure it out until I basically sort of finished kind of second draft of my, of my second screenplay. And then I understood, oh, okay, listen, rewriting is actually fun. It's actually quite interesting. and and. It's way more fun than staring at the blank page and trying to sort of create things out of your, just out of your kind of imagination or something that you maybe picked up from like your surrounding and things like that, right? Don't try to nail it uh, on the first try. Believe me, I've tried. I've wasted way too much time doing that. It's not working and it's not worth wasting your time like that because I'll tell you right now like a way better approach how to do it. So I've wasted actually a lot of time uh, coming to this realization that rewrites are good and I was actually dreading rewrites because I was thinking if I'm sort of spending so much energy right now trying to come up with like sort of perfect stuff right now, I don't want to go back to it again, right? I don't want to kind of experience this again. I'm going to nail everything on the first try. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be amazing. And uh, I will save my energy because I don't have to do the rewrites, right? It was stupid. And like I'm saying, it took me like more than six months and two screenplays uh, to actually figure out that this is not the right approach and this is not even the right approach for me. 
because things can be done way more interestingly, nothing better than rewrites. And I'm not saying like rewrites, meaning like total rewrite from start to finish the whole screenplay, right? I'm sort of more thinking about like maybe when I'm saying rewrite, you can you can kind of think about drafts, right? Uh, second draft, third draft, whatever. You're not, you're not necessarily rewriting everything. You are adjusting something, you're changing something, you're shuffling things around, you're like throwing out scenes, writing new scenes, but it's not like total rewrite. Uh, although I've done that as well. Uh, I think I did like up to like 70% or something like that. But yeah, even that is pretty good. Like rewrites are pretty good. Second drafts, third drafts, whatever it might be. Um, it's actually way more interesting, like I'm saying, because then you, and again, it took me some time to realize maybe it will, um, it will have to be like that for you as well. You will have to waste your time to actually realize that rewrites are actually fun and, and actually way cooler than even like writing the first draft because you already know a lot of the story, you know sort of already like a general overview, you know like what, what kind of things you want to fix, what kind of things kind of work and you just need to polish things, right? So on and so forth basically. But yeah, like I've done it because of my like sort of lack of knowledge of the craft because I haven't done it before writing those like two screenplays, I haven't done any big writing at all really, like not novellas, not like uh, all like short stories here and there, um, and definitely not screenplay. So it's because of my lack of knowledge, right? So that's why I'm kind of trying to share it as I'm writing it right now, right? Because I think a lot of the time sort of more established creators, they would give you more broad kind of things, you know, broader advice, like follow your whatever passions, go study the world, right? Like work in different jobs so you can understand people. All of that sort of brilliant advices and everything, but when it comes to the weeds of the specifics of the craft, like you are the writer, you stare in the blank fucking page, right? And after you've done it like 20 times, you've written, you know, dozens of, of screenplays and whatnot, it's not that dreadful anymore, right? And, and, I, and I don't think those, uh, well-established uh, screenwriters when they give their advice even though they mean well I don't think they can capture that like dreadful feeling they first sort of got when they were sort of first starting out right okay anyway I'm just rambling but I'm gonna get to the point right now I'm basically saying be a smart person learn from my mistakes I mean you're gonna make your own but make your own new mistakes right don't repeat the same stupid shit that I've already done right because like I'm saying I'm gonna explain it to you. so what do you do? Say you already figure out like your log line, so you know the overall sort of story. I would actually say you need the ending. You need to know how, how the movie ends. Why I'm saying that you should know the ending of the story is because I've uh, I've watched the interview of Martin McDonough, um, the banishings of uh, Inishirin, right? The, the director and the writer of that movie. He said that he started writing the movie without knowing the end. And let me tell you, it felt like that. I would be hoping that, you know, like the, the what's the name? The, I don't remember the names of the characters. It's so bad always with the names of the character. Anyway, the Colin Farrell character. I was thinking that he will change at the end, right? That he would, he would sort of strive towards the best in his friend, right? Maybe he will also learn some instrument. Maybe he will also go do some stuff or whatever, right? It felt like somewhere along the lines, somewhere closer to the last, whatever, 20 minutes, the movie sort of fell apart for me a little bit. It's a good movie anyway, like, it's pretty cool and everything, but I, this, the, the ending wasn't satisfactory. So I would say, like, know the ending, right? And then with those, knowing the character a little bit, uh, knowing the ending and having the, this kind of a log line or a quick summary, do this now, right? So this, this like, that was a long preface to go here and it's not something super, like, revolutionary, but this is the actual thing, okay? I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.